When it comes to weapons in Star Wars, if you can't find a blaster or a lightsaber, the next most likely item you'll find is the vibroblade. There were a variety of vibro weapons, including cutters, swords, rapiers, knives, staves, whips, axes, and more. But what makes the vibro versions different from their non-vibro real-world counterparts? That's what we'll explore today, but keep in mind, most of this information will be coming from Legends sources. As the name might suggest, vibro weapons used ultrasonic vibrations to become more deadly. The vibro generators were usually found in the hilt or handle. When a blade vibrating at that frequency contacted anything, it would cause devastating damage much faster than any blade that didn't have a generator. Even slight glancing blows to organic beings could become serious wounds. The danger these weapons possessed quickly led to them being outlawed throughout the galaxy. As a result, they became mostly seen in the use of criminals and gangs. There were a number of modifications that could be made to a standard vibroblade to increase their effectiveness. There were different classes of vibro generators that could provide strength and focus to the point of any weapon, allowing it to penetrate even the toughest armors. Some blades had a cortosis weave built into them, which would allow them to block lightsabers. As I mentioned before, many normal weapons had vibrating variants. For example, the guards and thugs in Jabba's gang were armed with vibro axes. They were heavier and more difficult to wield than a standard vibro blade, but had more cutting power. Sophisticated handles were designed to lessen the vibration effect for the wielder, but some of the versions used by Gamorrean guards simply had wooden handles that provided no assistance. Vibro whips offered even further variation. In addition to the vibrating generator in the handle, it was energized enough that it could defend against lightsabers. However, they were not strong enough to be classified as light or even energy whips. The most intimidating vibro weapon was the vibro mace. They required great strength to wield, and while it isn't specified, I imagine the entire head of the mace was made to vibrate. But the Vibro's staff had the reputation as the most deadly type of vibro weapon. They were the weapon of choice for the Imperial Royal Guard. Palpatine supposedly took the idea from Darth Maul's double-bladed lightsaber and adapted it for use by his elite forces. The red-cloaked soldiers used the martial art of Akani to expertly wield the blades in combat. While pretty much everything I just said was established in Star Wars Legends, vibroblades have appeared many times in canon. The Last Jedi actually introduced two new variants that can be seen used by the Praetorian Guard, the Vibro Volge and the Vibro Arbor Blades. But that's it for today. If you haven't already, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, and consider checking out my Patreon page. As always, thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.